So here's part two of the Jonsky situation. So after dealing with this man child in the comment section of his video to where he was literally trying to put words in my mouth that he was literally taking my words and twisting it around just so it could suit his narrative, I decided to respond to each one of his points with my own video. And not only did my video get way more views than his, like it literally went past the 1k views, but it also got up like over 200 likes on that video while his was literally stuck at the 50 mark. My video was up for a whole day and then all of a sudden it was taken down because it violated a community guideline strike. But his video is still up on his channel, which I find especially odd after the situation that happened two nights ago. So after my video went up, he literally sneaked his way into my comment section, which let me remind you, I was asleep by the time I saw this. He literally tried to talk me into going on a live stream the day after at 7 to 8, so that way we can have a, you know, a discussion instead of a back and forth argument to which it comes off as toxic. To which he somehow forgot that he was the one who was twisting my words and putting words in my mouth which I did not say. At which I made it clear here in the conversation when I said I didn't have to go on a live stream in order to prove my point to you, especially the fact that I already made it clear numerous times that Mordecai is unjustified in killing Rigby, but at the same time, I why would I want to go on a live stream with you to prove it? Pretty sus after you tried twisting my words and putting words in my mouth that you're trying to talk me into a live stream. So I respectfully declined his offer and I told him straight up that I was done with the subject anyway and I wished him the best in life. To which he still responded to me in my comment section and literally this was his response. To which I'm trying to understand when somebody says they're done with the conversation and you literally keep the conversation going, doesn't that count as harassment and I find it so funny how you said that you didn't want this situation to get toxic yet yeah, here you are in my comment section being toxic as hell the sucky thing is while I was in the middle of getting these screenshots he literally deleted the entire comment so I didn't get the rest but the whole comment ended when he literally tried to double down on his argument again and I told him straight up that he needed help because he's arguing about fictional characters and a whole day later my video suddenly gets taken down so yeah Jonsky I'm just gonna make this very clear you are a really sus motherfucker when people have a different opinion, you argue with them. You double down on what you say, or in this case, you literally try to twist their words in order to fit your narrative. You try to be sleazy and drag me onto a live stream to which you didn't even ask me what my schedule was or if I can make it or not. And all of this was all for some fictional character. That is pretty sad. But yeah, this is all the reason that I need to block you for being the most toxic man child I've ever come across on this app. And just like Rigby, you're a whiny crybaby. But that's all I gotta say. Y'all have a good day.